is up the world it is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things on the vanilla server i hope that you guys are having a good day i'm having a great day and it's the thing that's happened there's a thing over here look oh my god omg's guys so i got it finished i did it i'm super excited about it so you may be saying to yourself self what is this because i don't watch all the episodes because i'm not a super fan amazing person i'm just a regular person so I'm guilting you into watching that. <laughs> Go. I get questions sometimes where people are like, it would be like episode two, and people were like, where to get the diamonds? I'm like, how couldn't you? I was there. You were there. We were all there getting the diamonds. Here's how it works. So we're going up, and that's the thing. We go up. And it's so funny. I was commenting this in the last video about how, like, how... In vanilla, something like this is like the most amazing thing ever. But in modded, it's like you would do like you just use like the like I don't know whatever you just fly and you're there. Like here, it's like this big thing it takes like a whole episode to make it, but it's a thing and it's working now. I can't really show you, unfortunately, the system that returns the carts. It's buried inside the wall here, so well you can kind of see it. It's really straightforward. There's a comparator right here. Gives a one block, uh, one uh, long, one length uh, redstone signal. When there's one item in there, we got a repeater on it. It just squircles back around to the back of it. Um, and then there's a chain for of uh, hoppers right here that comes down the back. So the hopper chain comes down the back, squirts the minecart into here, sets the signal, goes, gets repeated, squirts back into the back of it, and then squirts the minecart out. It falls down to the bottom where there is a slab. Um, and then on, down in there, there's the minecart or the hopper system that picks it back up. So here also what I did is in each one of these corners, you know how when you uh, if you um, have your minecart cross a corner like that, it blacks out your screen? I figured a lot of people are going to, I know I'm going to be going up and down this quite a bit. Other people might be going up and down it quite a bit. It really ruins the experience to have that flashing of your screen. So um, these three blocks had to be taken out of each area. So that's what that's for. And it added a little bit. Let me just, we can just fly, float down here, fly down here fall um it added a little bit of things to it so like it kind of makes it look uh, a little bit different and kind of cool every once in a while there's a little thing see but um after i got this built i wrote it probably like i don't know 60 70 times <laughs> no i just wrote it wrote up and down it um a lot because i think it's so fun i'm so excited about it and i can't wait to do more of them like i would love to see a few of these all around you do get that black screen at the very end um i think because of this block but I feel like aesthetically, I really want this block to be here. <laughs> so screw, screw it. So then at the top here, I just done something really simple um, where it's just some, you know, of the diorite. And then you come up here, use the iron pressure plate, you fall down and bam. Now I'm gonna probably pop this, oh crap. Oh crap. We'll just pick that one up. <laughs> so um, now these, by the way, in case you're wondering if they do go off uh, accidentally, um, they'll just go up to the top and they'll just squirt right out automatically. It's just going to go ahead and do it on its own. Now I'm going to probably, oh, there you go. There you saw it. We're going to probably, um, replace this with a block of quartz or a quartz slab. And I was just talking to these guys about how I love that these new blocks got added, but it feels so short sighted to me that they don't add slabs and stairs with them. I just don't get it. I mean, this is a building game, man. Like, we want building options. I want to be able to do stuff and things with these new blocks. And it's great. Like, it's really great that we have new ones. But I'm so bummed. Like, I really, I'm, like, envisioning this diorite stairway and all this cool stuff. And so, really what it means is that we're going to have to incorporate a lot of quartz into the builds that we do, too. We're just going to need it um, to make slabs and stairs with, especially. Um, so, if you remember, we went to the nether. We got some nether stuff and things. Um... What do we have here? One stack. Yeah, pretty much stack. Stack and a half. Yeah, of nether quartz right there. So we're not doing bad on it. <laughs> so um, so it's going to be going pretty good. Now, um, what else did I want to tell you guys about? Uh, nether quartz. Dirty dirt. Oh, we're going to probably build some derp stuff and things too. So my house is going up there. You see that thing up there? That's, um, uh, what's his name? Mumbo Jumbo's house. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I got it. I'm so excited. I got to show you something. So... This is a bit cheaty. This is kind of cheaty, but we got, I got, let's call it, I got advice. I got advice from a subscriber who has downloaded, not the, not downloaded the map, but is using the same seed um, and has been playing on this map too. And he left me a comment and he said, hey, Slip, 
Did you find this skelly spawner? Now, a lot of times I would not necessarily listen or I would kind of skim that. I would kind of just skim over the fact that somebody said that there was a skelly spawner or something like that. Oh, crap. Crap. How do I get to it? Oh, man. So anyway, I think I can go down this way. Um, I can't remember how to get to it now. But anyway, I found the skelly spawner. Now, I can't remember where it is, though. It's between some lava and some water. <laughs> but there's a couple of different lava streams around here. So, let me see. Oh, oh, that looks like certain death. That looks like certain death. And I don't want to pour water down because I don't want to make all that cobble. Um, Crapo. You know what we could do? We could pour water down right here. And just flow down, man. We're coming. I think this will flow right into that cave there. So, all right, because I'm going to show you. There is a way to get to it. Um, it took me a second to find. He kind of didn't give me the cord cords as much as he showed me kind of like the area. He said it was like between here and here. And then I asked for the cords. Um, and then the cords that I got was a little bit weird. I didn't quite understand exactly what they where they were. Um, and then I ended up finding it. So up inside of here, there is a little tunnel and now I made this tunnel here came up inside of this piece and I was coming down through here run and dug all the way out now this is how I remember to get in here I can't remember how it is that you actually are supposed to get here oh my kingdom for an ender pearl right now my kingdom for an ender pearl we can do it man you and me against the world we're gonna get there one day when we get there It'll be the best thing that ever happened. All right, so we're here. Now, where are we actually? I don't know. Oh my God, these landscapes look awesome. All right, my little area is right here. Okay, I'm back behind my little area. So back inside of here is where it is, up in this piece of Pion. So right here we have an exposed dungeon, and inside of here, there is a skelly spawner! And I already grabbed the stuff and things out of here. It was nothing major. Some horse armor, some bread. I got a name tag, which is rad. We'll be building a skelly farm. Kindly do not take slip. So we're going to be building a skelly farm right here. It is going to be BA. One of the things that I want to get going on the server straight away. Um, bones for bone schmeal is like the most, it's so, so important on the beginning days. So um, really, really going to be a big deal to get that thing up and running. And I think that we're going to work on that today. Um, wow, somebody's got the thing down here. We're going to work on it a little bit today. But, oh, look, there's somebody's got a bridge going over there. Oh, that looks cool, too. So there's somebody's house. Somebody's got a bridge there. There's somebody's platform. Um, stuff and things are happening, man. And um, it's really, really cool. I know X just released a vid with a new house that he built that looks awesome. Um Really, really nice. So, um, yeah. So those are some of the things we're working on today. We got to get the bridge. We got to get, or not the bridge. We got to work on the skelly farm. Um, I want to work on a ghetto bridge. I am going to be making a ghetto bridge today. We're gonna go ahead and start it out of diorite, just to do that. And let's go ahead and grab a sign. Uh, and then we're right over here. We're gonna create this ghetto bridge. So this isn't that big of a deal right here. But when you come over here, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired <laughs> of climbing across this. So we're gonna use a diorite ghetto bridge. This is how you make a bridge, guys. In case you were wondering, that's what I'm gonna title this episode, Minecraft Bridge Tutorial. Um, you want to go ahead and get yourself a building block of any kind. Uh, you'll need as many as is equal to the amount of blocks from the beginning point of your bridge to the end point of your bridge. That is a mathematic statistic known as the total length. And you hold shift, back, and right mouse button, and then it makes a bridge. Um, it'll continue to make it longer the longer that you hold the buttons. So basically it's like a, you know, it's a bridge, but not really. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and put a sign up on this piece down through here, ghetto bridge. will be better. <laughs> oh, how about this? Enjoy. <laughs> All 
All right, ghetto bridge. So this is ghetto bridge, and we'll put some torches on it, just so we don't get any spawns. But I'll tell you what, this is amazing. It's gonna be amazing how much faster it is to get from one side to the other now. It's the little things, man, it's the little things. There's XP crafted, let's kill him. Oh, wow. So um, this is Azuma's house. He just built this, really, really cool looking. Somebody's got a great design for something up there. And that's crazy because that is similar to what I was thinking <laughs> ish. So we'll maybe change our plan up a little bit. Uh, Azuma Void said he wouldn't take this as a gift. So I don't know, we might force him to. He said he's gonna give me diamonds anyway. But um, I don't really want them. I wanted it to be a, a, a gift. So all right. So we got our ghetto bridge. Um, I feel like the first order business, really before the skelly spawner, is that we need to build a house here. So that's what we're gonna get started on today. My, I know I'm a little bit, you know, here and there, but uh, yeah, that's what I think that we're gonna start doing. We're gonna start getting that house built. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna start uh, placing some blocks, and I'll be our bees. And we're back, and this vanilla stuff takes a while, man. All right, so um, I went to the nether, got a huge more amount of quartz. I got like probably 16 stacks of quartz. You can see I have 33 levels now. I had like 11 levels before the cut. And if you were wondering why, I think I had 30 levels in the previous episode. I died making the quick drop here. Um, I forgot about how I had to design that, and I died. So um, that's where I lost all my levels. But um, all right, so I wanted to talk about the concept. So um, I found... I know what I'm going to be doing for the for the town hall design. I've got that in my mind for places now. I want to do something kind of sort of similar-ish up in here first as kind of like a testy test type thing. And I'm going to keep this architecture throughout um, a lot of the buildings here in town. The, I'm going to build this bridge. That's going to be very similar and have the same architecture, the town hall, and then my house is going to kind of have that same architecture. So the idea is that there will be um, a stairway right here. Uh, the stairway is going to come up, and there's like creepers. And, <laughs> there's bad guys everywhere, man. What up, creeper? Yeah, you're dead. That's right. You can't even handle the sharpness one. Um, so, and then there'll be a platform here, and then we'll go into another stairway here, into a platform here, and then I had to, uh, Mumbo had his, I think his ladder right here. I'm pretty sure that won't be necessary anymore, because uh, I've built this and I'm building the stairway, so I, um, I'll i message him on Skypes and let him know. I've kind of rerouted the, the area, and then it will come up to here. So, and then up here, we'll have a thing too. Uh, it's daytime. You should be not pissed. You sound pissed. You're, uh, it's like you're aggroed to me, but then you're not. Oh, is that right? Fine. Fine. Give me your silkworm bits. All right. Oh, monkey charm, monkey charm, monkey charm. <laughs> you kids will never get me the monkey charms. Um, Monkey farm just got wood. That's good. So, all right. So we've got a little bit of quartz right here. We've got some dirt. Oh, that's not it. This is dirt right here. And then we'll put this in here. All right. So, and then there's some ladders that I owe Mumbo. Um, crafting table. We can't have wood. Oh man, I cut down all the trees and I have no wood. All right, so we'll need a crafting table. I need to make some stairs, but that's basically the plan for what's gonna go here. Um, and then also the other part of it is that there's gonna be like platforms. So kind of ribbony almost, like it's like a new type of ribbon thing where there will be like little platforms around of some sort. Um, I haven't really decided what that's gonna look like exactly yet. So, um, yeah, I've got to grab some wood. I need to get, can I just cut this tree down right here? Probably. This is probably the best. It's the best. Oh, hello rabbit. Silly rabbit. Is that like the most dangerous tree ever? What's your name, man? Don't, no, don't jump. What are you doing? No, don't, oh rabbit, why? Oh, you landed in the water, you're fine. All right, so let's grab this wood. We can get back. We have the technology. So, all right, now we've got some wood. This is perfect. Perfect. Craft table. Bam. Uh, we'll squirt this guy right here. And then make some stairs. This is perfect. 
like so. Forty stairs. And, um, yeah, so we're gonna have to use quartz stairs. Now, let me think about this here. Yeah, it's gonna have to go right on top like this. So we're gonna start staring it up, man. Um, get these laid down. Oh! Stupid, that stair was... I should have thrown that one away. I was going the wrong direction. Alright, so then we got our little area up here. We got our other stairway. We already are running out of quartz. It's crazy how much, how many resources. That's it. And then another one up there. So that was a whole stack already. We've just blew a stack of quartz. And I've only got, you know, like a finite amount. And I went into the nether for so long, too. It's crazy how fast you use resources, man. Uh, all right. Especially quartz. It's like the worst. Um, I was just talking to the guys about it, too, in the chat. I was like, oh, I think I was saying it to you guys, too. It's like, I wish... Like, we get these new blocks, but we don't get, like, stairs? Like, why no stairs? Can we have stair? Can we have diorite slabs, please? And diorite stairs and andesite and all that? Wouldn't that be the best since we have this new block? Um, so it always seems kind of weird to me that we add blocks, but there's, like, that uh, Mojang adds blocks, but kind of, like, not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we get them, but kind of not in their entirety. So, all right. We got our stairways. Alright, and I feel like that's good. Like, it's a good, solid start for something, for something to be built here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start working on kind of beautificating it and getting some of those these platform ideas done that I have, and I will be our bees.
And there you have it, ladies and germs. Peeps and peepets. There's, that's the new starter house. It's weird, huh? <laughs> it's not really a house now, is it? I don't know. It's kind of just a strange thing. So, oh, wow. That goes down a lot faster than I remember. But it's working. We're going down. What is that? A zombie. Scared of you, I am. Yoda? Gator? Oh, Z got to return to sender. I don't even know what that is. Is that when something happens? Um, so, yeah, it's a thing. It's kind of modern-y. It's just kind of what ended up happening. Like, I didn't really think about it as much. I just kind of, like, started building. And it, it's what came out. Um, so we're going to take you over there and show it to you after we kill this Enderman for Azuma. Because we got to get his stuff and things. Peace out, man! Don't hit the water. Don't. Yes, give me your balls. Where's your ball? Oh, you have no balls, Ender girl. All right. So we're going to head up over in here, and I'll show you exactly what's going on. Uh, with this thing. Like I said, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do for the town hall, and then I just started kind of building. Um, and as always, it's so strange for your brain to have one thought, and then the Minecraft to have a different one, and then also your brain is like circles, and Minecraft is less circles. You could do circles in Minecraft, but something this small um, is really not that circly. So we're going to head up here. I also got a chance to check out Zuljin's house. It's a little bit out of render distance up in there. It looks really cool pretty crazy up there so all right here we are so we got a stairway and I did these like spike things um, and I did these guys freehand um, I just kind of freehanded them and didn't really measure them uh, and oh, oh no no oh my god what invisible creeper did anybody see it I did not see it also look at the torches up there what is that man who is like on the cliff face that one right there is the is there another creeper holy crap that one right there is the most amazing torch of all time. Because there's no way to get up there. <laughs> so yeah, I did these like spike kind of things, deals, and I kind of made it so that they're holding up the area. Um, I think that we'll have like some storage space and stuff like that around in, the, in this place. And then right here, because Mumbo's house is up there, I think I'm going to build another one of these minecart elevators. Um, oh, look! Who are you? Let's hit you with an arrow. Nah, no way ever. No! Oh no, we got to see it! Oh no! <laughs> we got to watch Cleo. Why did she do that? Why did she just commit suicide? But why? <laughs> it looks like she just walked off the edge. All right, anyway, so I think we're going to do another minecart elevator right up in this piece right in the corner here. I think that'll be really great. You'll come up, and then you'll be able to get the mountain. So it'll be like a base, um, and then it will also be like a um, kind of a ladder for people, too. So it's like dual purposey. So And this is our starter house, uh, so, um, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. Now, the lighting um, is a little, you know... Whatever. I'd rather do uh, glowstone, lamps. Um, I would really love to have sea lanterns, but that's not a thing that's going to happen right now. Are these the same? They are the same. That's crazy. So, yeah, I hope that you guys like it. If you like the montage and you like the build, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. We might add another round platform down here. Um, I'm thinking about it. I think it'll fit, and I think it'll look pretty good. The only problem is, is if I build another tower, I've got to build another spiky thing, which I'm, I don't think I want to do. I don't know. We might play around with it. There, there's something else that wants to happen here. So, yeah, that's the thing. But, you know, something else that happened. Um, do I want to go this way? Yes, I want to go this way. So, um, XP and um, Hypno released a video. Uh, and I actually didn't know this until last night. And they already found another Skelly Spawner and built a grinder and they found a spider spawner and i guess there's something going on with that too i haven't really checked it out check this out i am not afraid only by a little bit possibly a lie i oh no not a side torch there we go let's get this lit up a little bit better up into this piece so these guys we got to get some stairs going guys we got to build some stairs and uh up down in here now remember if you go up here and then you go to the left down in this piece, that's where the this, this skelly spawner is that I found. Now, over here, you go down this hall, down these stairs. You eat food. You have to eat food right here. Um, you can eat two bread, several carrots. Anyway, and then we go down here. You can take a left, take a right. And then you go down here, turn around, turn around again. 
Uh, and then you come here. Now here's the spider spawner. Here's the skelly spawner. Now the skelly spawner is just a drowning trap. It's not like actually a... Did that scare you guys? Did you guys get scared by that? So um, it's not actually like an XP trap. It's just a drowning trap. And I AFK'd here last night all night. So we're taking some of the stuff. Um, because I spent the whole entire evening here. So let's fill up. Let's fix this guy back up again. And then actually let's fix this up. Because we do want there to be only air. Oh man, no! I, what? No! Stop! It's not possible, bro. It's impossible, bro. We do only want like arrows to be in here. This is so unorganized right now. It is, I'm not liking it at all. Is that a real skelly or just a drowny skelly? Just a drowny skelly. So I can't get. There's no possible way <laughs> ever to fix this. This is no possible way. Let's go ahead and do this. We could fix it. I believe in us. Let's go ahead and grab these. Where are all the arrows? Oh, now they're coming out of here because I'm an idiot! It's not possible. It's not possible to fix. Alright, so we're just going to do this for now. We're going to take some of these arrows back. Um, but then let's go ahead and head over to the spider spawner too. Boy, I made a mess up, up there. But um, I cleaned it up a little bit by taking all these arrows. So we got plenty of arrows, which is good because we don't have infinity. Um, but yeah, the uh, spider spawner is definitely something I want to check out as well. We can maybe start getting some potions going and then start getting some XP. I do have 34 levels right now, so I could throw that on another bow in an attempt to get infinity, which I really want. Now, I haven't been down here yet, so let's see what, what's up. I'm a little bit scaled. See how it is. See how... Is this another quick drop? All right, sweet. So... Spider trap? Is this just a spider drowning trap? Okay, so they did another drowning trap right here for spiders. I don't know where the AFK is. What is this? Where are you, the room back here? Huh, alright. Anyway, so it looks like another drowning trap, which is rad. I mean, it's all the string, um, which is cool, and spider eyes too. Not quite as impressive, and we do probably need to get XP farm online, so I might do that with the other spawner. I might set that up as more of an XP farm spawner, as opposed to um, getting just getting the items out of it. Um, because we do need a way to get XP besides grinding quartz, which is what everybody's doing right now. Alright, I'm going to make my way out of here and I'll be RBs. But that's going to be it for today, guys. If you liked the video, please don't forget... <coughs> Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit, peeps. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.